Hi everyone, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be explaining how can you prepare for the IMAT exam in one month. As you all know, the IMAT exam is going to be on the 17th of September. So today is 1st of August, so you have about 47 days. I'm making this video because it was really requested by many, many of you. Over 50 of you on our community um, WhatsApp group have asked me personally to make this video. And I understand that many of you have different levels of preparation. So this video will somehow guide all of you to the right direction. Um, depending obviously on your level of preparation. So I hope that this video can be very helpful, can actually give you a guidance on the last basically 40, 47 days before the IMAT exam. Now, before I start the video, I actually want to ask you, please go and subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it to a friend, and share it to as much people as possible as this can benefit as much people as possible, okay? I also invite you to join our community group um, where we have over 700 and and 50 members, active 50 active members, um, every single day speaking on our channel. And obviously, you can have a community where you can interact and ask any questions. Okay. Um, and lastly, if you are interested in our courses, we're having um, one course that is actually starting today, which is called the IMAT practice exam, where, where we are going to be doing one IMAT simulation paper every single day for one month. Um, so that's over 1,200 questions in total. That should really help you prepare very, very good for the exam and plus you're going to have a obviously tutor you can speak to and they can guide you on the other hand we also have an imat course which is very good for the price and for the content where we have over 75 hours of recorded content and all the aspects of um IMAT, okay so that's including biology chemistry physics maths problem solving etc okay now let's get to the video um so again if you want to find out more about our courses just go to alphamedschool.com imat preparation so today's video is going to be divided into four parts. So <clears throat> number one, understanding the IMAT exam. Then we're going to understand your preparation level, where you can start depending on your preparation level. And again, lastly, how you can practice. Okay. So let's begin. Now, obviously, if you are, um, if you understand the IMAT structure well and things like that, you can obviously skip the video a bit to the front. Um, but just for those that are coming in new and just found out about the IMAT, I believe that this will be actually very helpful. So. <clears throat> the IMAT exam has 60 multiple choice questions, okay? And you have to complete the 60 multiple choice, multiple choice questions in 100 minutes. So each question has five answer options, okay? And so that's A, B, C, D, and E. All right, now the questions are divided into the following. So the new syllabus hasn't been up yet, but according, I believe it will not change from the last syllabus. So um, there's gonna be four questions for reading skills and general knowledge. Um, is going to be five questions for problem solving and logical reasoning. Um, it's going to be 23 questions for biology, 15 questions for chemistry, and 13 questions for maths and physics. Um, now, when it comes to the scoring, is 1.5 uh, score for every correct answer they have, and negative 0 0.4 uh, marks for every wrong answer they have. And if you don't put any um, answers down for that specific question, you get no uh, marks taken off or added, obviously. Um, so it's very important to understand the scoring because guessing can actually really like put you in a very bad position, especially if you're obviously just guessing wrong and obviously you have five, five questions. So there's actually quite a lot of space to be guessing wrong. So don't guess, I would say, unless you are, unless you have obviously some sort of evidence to back out your guessing, let's put it in that way. All right. And obviously the total score that you can get is around 90. Now. For the previous year for non-U students, the, the minimum score that you had to get is a, it was around 56. Um, but I would say for you to actually feel somehow safe, you should be aiming for, I would say, a minimum of maybe 62, 63. That's, that would be like on a minimum, I would say. And I believe that this, this year, the scores will be slightly higher from last year's and this is usually how it works usually, usually how it goes okay now let's go to the next now <clears throat> again it will obviously depend on your preparation level so if you're not prepared at all you do not begin your preparation which is this section here what you have to literally be doing you have to be focusing on the main aspects and main things of the, obviously the IMAT exam. Now, because the IMAT exam have changed from 2024 onwards, therefore, now the IMAT exam is much easier. Therefore, your competition is going to be doing basically well on all parts of the exam. You yourself, you also need to do well on basically all parts of the exam. 
So you kind of have to divide basically how many days you will have left, okay? And you have to also, I would say at least allocate like a week for you to actually practice, 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 solve past papers and just really like test your knowledge a lot because that's the only way that you actually can implement what you learn. So I would say obviously get into the topics where um, you, you have the most like difficulty on okay let's say if you if you did not prepare yet for uh, the IMAT exam but you have a very strong foundation in chemistry and, and and biology i would say start with the with the topics that you're not very familiar with let's say physics and maths um at this point honestly i don't think it's worth for you for you to even um consider stressing about general knowledge critical thinking etc which is only about like um uh five to ten questions uh, it's not it's not very important okay at this point uh because again when i did my imat exam in 2023 i got all of them right because a lot of them is just common sense okay um so I, I would say don't don't worry about them at this point just focus number one on your weak subjects after finishing from the weak subjects go on to the subjects where you are stronger okay um and then after that obviously allocate i would say at least at least at least at least five days um to actually solve and, and practice what you're learning um and obviously sitting past papers sitting on med simulator exams and things like that um i would say i would recommend you to actually uh, purchase one of our courses where you can follow basically this guideline we have 75 hours of classes or sorry of, of hours of teaching classes which obviously you can basically do like one and a half, one, one and a half class a day. Each class is about two, two and a half hours. So you can do like one and a half class a day. And that can actually be very helpful. So you can finish up very quick. So you can actually have time to actually start solving. Now, for the second group of people is the ones that are somewhat prepared. What do I mean by this? Now, this is for the people that actually did some sort of preparation. Maybe you um, prepared at least like halfway, I would say, somewhat prepared, I would say you have to at least have finished 50% of everything, or at least I would say have completed a chemistry and biology, all right? For you to actually be considered, I would say, halfway or somewhat prepared, all right? Now, if you reach there, obviously number one goal, it has to be to um, actually finish up the course. So I try to do that as much, like, you know, as fast as you can, I'll say put on as much hour as you can. Um, now is not really the time for you to be having weekends off or anything like this and also this applies to the people that are not prepared you really have to give in like four hours the minimum i would have i would, I would say um four hours the minimum obviously the much more hours you put it will be the best for you make sure they're having enough sleep and uh and yeah so make sure you finish the, the syllabus as quick as possible and have, make sure you always revise it for what you learn so you actually don't forget the things that you learn. Okay? And again, same, similar thing applies. I believe if you are around the halfway, you, sh you, you should have, I would say, minimal of like two to three weeks to actually revise, um, you know, solve a BMAT, uh, you know, BMAT question, solve IMAT best papers, you know, do IMAT simulators, simulator exams. Again, if you need help with IMAT best papers, if you need help with the course, you can go to our um, website alphamedschool.com slash IMAT uh, preparation um, and obviously you can find all of these um, resources there um, we also also have a free course but that only covers biology and um, and chemistry okay now if you're towards the end of your exam you obviously just want to finish that and then just be solving you just want to finish the syllabus and then just be solving the IMAT, uh, the IMAT questions, okay? I would say also make sure that you get some um, IMAT papers or IMAT simulators. And what do you do? You, you basically have like a simulation day. What is a simulation day? You basically would set basically, uh, you come to, a, to your room, right? You put the paper down, put, um, put um, the timer, okay? And then put your phones away and basically that act like that is the real exam, okay? And then basically test yourself, see how you would do um, solving an IMAT paper under exam conditions. Then after, um, when you're done with the exam, or if the time is up, just stop it, solve everything, understand which areas you actually did really well on, note them down, and which areas you actually really struggled on. The areas where you're struggling on is really important because obviously if you have at least like three weeks to, to practice, 
on the areas that you're struggling on, you can actually go not write them down and go and start solving and actually improving in those areas. Now, if you continue to do this over and over and over and over again, obviously slowly, 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 you're just gonna get better, 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 better. And not obviously in your exam, you can do much, much better if you just would have finished the syllabus and just go straight away for the exam. So this is um, why it's so important to actually have this time to practice and improve and, and understand your weak areas. Because even if you did whatever course it is, even if you study as much as you want, um, you have to identify your weak areas. You will have weak areas 100%. You cannot be perfect on everything. Now, the matter is just identifying which areas you are strong, which areas you are weak, and obviously focus on the weak areas so you can actually obviously improve your overall grade that you're going to have in the exam. Also, try to time yourself. Try to do them, I would say, um, within I would say within uh, within one one minute. This is ideal. Try to solve each question within one minute. Okay. Now, for the people who are almost prepared, I would say you have to be I would say seventy five percent way done with your syllabus. Again, obviously finish your syllabus. Make sure you are revising everything that you learn. And again, the same thing applies when it comes to the solving. Solve best papers, do um, um, simulated exams, meaning set yourself on this um, exam conditions and just keep improving on the knowledge. Practice every single topic of the IMAT exam, literally get the IMAT syllabus, go to every single thing, solve MCQs on every single steps, okay? And hopefully by this, you should be really done. Uh, you should be really prepared by it. Just keep doing, just keep improving and you will be fine, okay? Now, the next thing that we have to do now is where you can study. Now, there's different ways that you can study, but the main two ways that you can study is by the, by an IMAT course, or you can do a self-study, okay? Now, both have pros and cons, okay? Now, the IMAT course obviously is very beneficial. Obviously, I will be biased here because we have a, obviously a very well-established company that we help hundreds of students every single year to pass the IMAT exam. But the benefits of having an IMAT course is that you just have something already structured, structured for you. You don't have to really be going out and about to find information. You have a very, very well laid out course structure for you. Okay? And obviously you have many different options for courses. Um, obviously I'll say I'll definitely recommend our course, it's very good. Um, and for our course, every single lecture, you, you actually have 10 MCQs that you can solve and you can get feedback on to actually, to see if you actually understood the lesson or not. And obviously you're gonna have the lesson notes as well where you, where you can revise. Um, obviously the, the cons of it is that a bit more expensive. Um, and obviously we do understand that a lot of you comes from like countries like Pakistan, India, and all the countries that are developing countries um, that obviously you might not have access to the finance to actually even invest uh, on an IMAT course. Now, luckily for you, we have an IMAT scholarship course where we give um, IMAT partial scholarships for your students that are from this type of backgrounds, okay? And that can range from 50% discount to up to 15%. Obviously, you can make an application today. You can go to the link in the description and make the application. Now, now we have also the option to self-study. Now, self-study, especially if you are, I would say, within one month of the IMAT exam and you don't really have a strong base, I don't really recommend it, but if that's the only option they have, there's many different things they can do. Now, as you can see here for biology, um, some books that are actually generally recommended by medical students, um, including myself, is um, the Pearson Biology. I personally studied with this book, it's also really good. Um, we have the Constanza Physiology, is also good for extra detail on the human systems um, and obviously the physiology. Um, you have genetics for dummies, for understanding genetics. You have chem for the chemistry, you can follow the Pearson IB chemistry. Um, you can find, uh, you can also use a uh, Cambridge um, AS and A levels chemistry. This is also very good. And generally, A levels books are always good and GCSEs as well. Um, for the I, for the maths and physics, um, CGP A level maths and physics books also very good. Uh, so I studied in the UK and I can definitely say that those books are really good and um, it's very easy to understand. Okay, and also AP physics. Um, you can also study for them. Now for the logical reasoning, if you obviously you have some more time to study, you can use thinking skills, critical thinking and problem solving is very good. Um, and obviously um, 700 uh, by math practice questions. This is a book that usually at the beginning, you have the logical reasoning questions as well, which you can obviously practice, which is very good. Now, 
for the full practice and past papers, here you can take the, you, the Ultimate IMAT Collection 650. So this is a book which is a, is a few years old, but you can still obviously be very helpful for the IMAT questions. So it has 650 questions of uh, you know all of the topics in the exam. You can buy this book, this book on Amazon, or you can just or you can join like Telegram groups. Um, they can actually get this um, this book for free. Okay. Now uh, you can also get um, a B Math practice books, um, which is the books which is generally the most recommended because they just have many different versions of them and you can actually find much more books and variety, variety of books for you to actually practice on the M and the questions on it they're actually very similar to the IMAT exam itself so it's very beneficial highly recommend okay then um, lastly you also can um, have IMAT practice courses again which which was which is what we have and is the course that we're doing um, this month okay and even let's say if you are watching this video maybe like um, after the IMAT exam or in the middle of the month, all of our um, courses, sorry, all of our, all of our courses and all of our uh, PDFs for the IMAT uh, practice, pa practice papers is actually recorded on our student learning website. Okay, so you can actually purchase it and you're still gonna have access to everything. So don't worry um, if you're not watching this at the beginning of, of August, you still have time, okay? And again, online free, free online resources, which I would say is very good and you can follow it and it will actually help you along the way. And maybe let's see, watching something from a course or from, or you maybe reading a book and it's, it's just a bit tricky. I would say, I would definitely recommend number one, Khan Academy. Number two, Amoeba Sisters. Organic Chemistry, Tutor, and Med School U. Um, those, I would say, is the general channels, which is very good. And obviously, you can find others. Um, but just make sure you don't really deep it because it doesn't have to be too deep, but also not too, like, um, how do I say, um, shallow, okay? Um, and yeah. Now, again, how you can practice, you can obviously buy an IMAT practice course. So you can join our IMAT practice course to solve one IMAT simulated paper per day for a month, which gives you about 1,200 questions and 20 papers to solve. Now you can, again, as I mentioned previously, you can do the BMAT questions, um, which is actually this book right here, as you can see, Getting to Medical School 700 BMAT practice questions. is a very good book, I highly recommend it. And IMAT past papers, um, just keep in mind that before 2024, um, the IMAT used to be different, used to be a bit harder. Um, so you would definitely find that the question styles are actually much harder than today's IMAT, but it's still, it's still a very um, viable option and can actually benefit you a lot to solve them, okay? Um, and yeah, um, and, and something as well that you can think about doing, you can think about the um, Italian past papers uh, for medicine, uh, in, so for, for medicine in the Italian language, okay? Also, them are more similar to the recent IMAT exams because obviously the IMAT exam nowadays is being um, is being um, administered by the NUR. Okay, so yeah, using the past papers for the IMAT, uh, sorry for the medicine medicine admission test in Italian language can also be very beneficial. So yeah, um, I hope that this video was very helpful. Um, it was a lot of information. If you stay to the end, thank you very much. And if I was able to help you even with 1%, please make sure that you um, like the video, share the video and subscribe to the channel and uh, join our WhatsApp community group um, to obviously to ask questions, to have a community there where you can be obviously supported on. Um, other than this, if you are interested and need help with our math operation, don't hesitate to reach out to us or go to our website and purchase one of our courses um, that has more than enough information you need to pass the IMAT exam. So after all, good luck, and I hope that you're gonna pass this exam, do your best, and remember that you might just have one month and a half to just take an exam that could actually change your life, right? So it can be very really hard, but that's why not everyone is doctors. So make sure you really put in the work, make sure you really put in the hours. I would say study as much as you can. Study as, uh, until you're not able to anymore, basically, okay?